First game in two years. On to the next round. Come on. There's only one song to play when it's football day. So difficult to sleep after games. Good morning from the Honest Footballer. It's match day, it's finally here. First game of the FA Cup, um, quarterfinals, and then we've got the league starting this Saturday. I'm buzzing, I'm absolutely buzzing. So this is the video about what I like to do on match days and, and my routine leading up to the game. Um, I'm not that superstitious, but you know I like to make sure I get my eight hours sleep before um, when I wake up, have the morning to myself, and because of you know my flexibility and stuff, I like to either go for like a morning walk, 20, 15 minutes, a little brisk walk. Um, don't know what I was doing there, a little McGregor. Or I do like a 20 minute mobility session at home where I just get the joints moving, get the range of motion into, into my body before tonight's game. Um, throughout the day, I'll have my breakfast, which normally consists of like a porridge. I'll show it in the video with protein, lots of fruits, etc. Stay hydrated throughout the day um, because you know I'm playing in 30 to 35 degrees heat, so I'm lo losing a lot of fluids during my games, even in training. So I've got to make sure I stay hydrated, um, and then I'll have like a light lunch, like a pasta, tuna, before we head to the stadium at five, and then you know I'll get all the footage of the stadium on the way there, etc. So we're meeting at the team bus, and then the bus will drive to the stadium for the games. You know, it's such a shame as well. There's no fans. Um, you've, got, you've got no fans, you've got no fans. There's no fans in the stadiums because of obviously Corona. You know, it would have been nice to, to come back to a full house. I've heard that Trombury have, um, you know, stadiums normally full on home games. So that's a real, real shame. But moving on, there's only one song to play when it's football day. Let's have it. Match day breakfast, we've got oats, blueberries, banana, strawberry, one scoop of protein, and it's gonna go into there. I'm gonna make a big porridge. Here it is, breakfast on match days. I promise you it actually tastes a lot nicer than it looks, I promise. Woo! Little pasta bait, pre-game meal goes in the oven for about 20 minutes. Get the goatee back. Get the goatee back for game day. Pre-match meal, look at that. Just sublime taste. You can really, really, really smell the taste. Um, which is beautiful. Absolutely magnificent bit of food and cooking from the chef. Oh my God! Wow! Mm. Hey boy. First game in two years. On to the next round. Come on. Right there. <laughs> Come on, John Woody. Good morning. Um, just finished my morning walk, 5K sort of recovery walk from the game last night. We played in the FA Cup. On to the next round. 
got my debut and it feels amazing. Honestly, I can't, I can't even describe that feeling I had last night when I stepped over that line. Um, I come on for 10 minutes, made my Thai league debut, and I've relived that mo like that feeling and emotion of when you're a young kid and you've worked sort of 10 over years for that one moment in football that you know you'll treasure forever again. Like you'll that feeling lasts forever when you make that debut, whether it's one minute, two minutes, whatever it is. Um, your professional debut is such a surreal feeling. And I managed to relive that at the age of 29. So I'm just woken up so grateful and I'm just so happy today. So yeah, I've just um, finished my morning walk. Gonna rest now, have some breakfast and then I've got an afternoon session later. And then we've got a league game on Sunday away. So we're traveling Saturday. I've got to pick my roommate. Um, so hopefully I'll go in with Renato, which is my Croatian brother. Brother. I say pick, but hopefully he'll, <laughs> hopefully he'll pick me as well. <laughs> That'd be awful, wouldn't it? Do you want to room with me? Do you want to room with me? Oh, no. Sorry, Matt, I've got, I've got a room. That's happened to me before, by the way. Um, so, no, um, got an away game Sunday. Really looking forward to it. I think hopefully I'll start. Don't hold me to that. Don't hold me to that, but hopefully I'll start. So, um, yeah, no, I just wanted to sort of do a short video after my debut. And, say how good it feels and you know, I'm, I'm very grateful for for that moment last night it felt amazing it's so true when you cross that white line like, all the stress problems in the in the world and everything you just forget about everything and you're so fully focused on football and, and that moment um, which is really truly feeling really present and that's what football does when you're playing football that's all you think about in life and when you feel present for me anyway I, it's just such a good feeling. So, yeah, on to the next game away at Korat. See you there. Feel the rain on your skin. No one else can feel it for you. Only you can let it in. No one else, no one else can speak the word of your lips. Come on. Hey. Today is the beginning. Best part of away days is the packing. All ready to go. Vaminos, papito. Got a five hour journey away to Barat. Um, games tomorrow, so. Love these long bus journeys, got no recovery time, so. It's cute. Five hours traveling. Legs in the air. Oh, fuck, I'm dead. away from home, never good, um, against a team who were below us in the league and they were climbing so I think they've overtaken us now. I managed to get on for eight minutes at 2-0 down um, and I'm not the kind of player that can change the game but you know it's good to get a few more minutes in my legs and I felt good. Um, 
hopefully, you know, I'll start the next game against Montong at home, which is a massive, massive game for us. Just disappointing to travel so far, five hours on the coach to, to lose, and then now we've got another five hour journey back, so we'll get home about 3 a.m. And that's all part of football, isn't it? All part of football, so. But, on to the next. We move. Just finished three sets of 20 in the sauna. Um, I'm absolutely buzzing. I've managed to find one. I know they're, you know, shut around most of the worlds. My mates back home are craving one, so. Nah, I thought it was amazing that they've, they've reopened them now in Thailand. And for me, for my body, sauna is such a good, good way to recover. We had a game on Wednesday FA Cup and a game last night. Um, and I know I only had 10 minutes in both. But you know, with the travel, etc., and then we've got another game this Thursday. Today I went in the pool, done my pool recovery, then we had a Zoom recovery session, which involved a lot of stretching and movement. Um, and then I finished off with three sets of 20 in the sauna, 20 minutes, and you know, drinking lots of water inside and a bit of bit of beer. <laughs> um, no, but it's just good. You know, the saunas for me, they get my blood circulating. It's a really good for your cardiovascular system and you're sweating all that lactic acid out, which is what you need when you have so many games in a short period of time. So, yeah, great day for recovery as well. Look at that. Beautiful, beautiful. Match day three, we're here. Um, third game of the season, it's a league game against Muang Tom. Very, very, very big game. Um, obviously, on this video, I've made my debut. Um, I then made a second appearance away from home where I sort of come on for the last 10 minutes, sat 2 0 down, which is always difficult. But, um, you know, I've worked really hard in training. I've proven myself in the times I have come on. And I've got my chance tonight. I'm, uh, I'm starting. I'm in the first 11. Get on, get on it. So um, it's a big moment for me to make my, um, my starting, obviously, debut for the team. And we're at home against a big, big side in Thailand, Wang Tong. Um, and obviously we dropped points in the league last week. Um, so we dropped three places in the, in the league. Um, so it's a big game for us, to be fair. Really, really big game. So I'm looking forward to it. Just um, finishing, cooking my breakfast. I've done my meditation this morning on the beach. <sighs> See you, Max. I'm, I'm a bit nervous, to be fair. I'm a bit nervous. I've got a few of the lads back home. Nervous, I'm a bit nervous. I've got a few of the lads back home watching um, Watching tonight, so um, let's go. Let's go, Ben. Just resting before leaving to the stadium in an hour. Um, got a team bus. Just uh, wanted to say, obviously, yeah, I'm a little bit nervous. Um, there's a little bit of anxiety brewing up. It's my first professional start in two years. It's live on TV. You know, you know a lot of my friends are watching today and. There's always that like a little bit of sickening feeling. And you know, when you close your eyes, I'm trying to sort of stop to think about what can go wrong, what can go right, etc. I'm trying to block out all the emotions and stay ready and focused for tonight. And it's funny because I spoke about this in a previous video, especially you know, after I finished uh, football, retired. Um, I've been doing this for so many years in the sense of before games, before match days, I shut off any emotion, etc., and um, try to stay fully focused. But when I finished football, I unfortunately, you know, became a habit. And it became something I did with everything in my life. You know, I shut my emotions off. I shut any other emotion getting in um, and I struggled with it. And I pushed, eventually ended up pushing people away. So, um, yeah, it's hard. It's hard. It is hard, but so, you know, I think this time around, I'm going to try and balance it out a little bit more. And definitely, if I, when I come to the end of this career, second time around, um, learn to open up and, and notice the difference between me when I'm playing sport and me in everyday life. So, um, yeah, anyway, see you at the game. Wish me luck. Vamos.
tough, tough pill to swallow, losing that first um, first debut, sort of starting debut in the league. Um, listen, felt really good. Body felt sharp. You know, I've got no pains, thankfully, um, after the game. Um, like positive feedback from people that watch from back home and stuff. So. Just um, one of them things I hate losing. I absolutely hate losing, and you know, football's like that. If you don't, we had about 20 chances today, and you don't put them away. Unfortunately, you get punished, and even the goals that we conceded were just oh, terrible. But um, it was to my recovery supplement, um, get my electrolytes, electrolytes back into my body, and tomorrow we've got booked in for massage at half two at the club. Um, light training probably, a um, bit of jogging and then I'm gonna hit the sauna up tomorrow night. But, I don't know, I feel a bit emotional tonight. You know, I've played, obviously come on in my debut at home and then I come on again and then, you know, I've, I've proven myself in training to, to now be in the first 11 and I had a great game and we lost. And, and I just feel a bit alone again and these are the same feelings that triggered you know loads of things last time and throughout my playing career because I'm so far away from the people I love and family etc it's hard to you know count your blessings that you get to go home to to people that you love and stuff because when you don't it's hard like I'm just <laughs> had dinner by myself and got no one to speak to and I don't know Especially, you know, with my with my past relationships and stuff, all I ever wanted was was to have someone here. And I know it's hard, but with football, it's difficult because you're travelling and you're asking someone to to move their life. And it's always not it's not always that easy, you know, to ask someone to move their life and follow your career when they have their own, you know, they have their own career path as well. Um, and unfortunately, with football, it takes you to anywhere around the world um, because you're chasing this contract. Because you're chasing this contract, um, you know, and I've made the sacrifice to come back and play again, and I'm very grateful that I've got this opportunity. And these are the things, and these are the emotions that you know you go through when you're out here by yourself, etc. So, yeah, <laughs> sure it will change soon. I'm sure it will change soon. Just don't want it to trigger things that you know. So, um, yeah, here we are. Listen. I'm really happy that I got to play 90 minutes today and I've just got to make sure I keep my body, um, get good, good recovery in, get my sleep in tonight and get the carbohydrates back in and my, my fluids back in for tomorrow. We're travelling Saturday, another five hour journey on the coach and then we've got another away game Sunday. So this is where um, I need to stay really professional outside of football and um, keep focused and then push on to the next game and get another night under my belt, get another night under my belt and, and really push my body and make sure I'm, I'm, I'm getting a good recovery. In. But yeah, felt a bit emotional, felt a bit emotional. But listen, we're here at The Honest Footballer to talk honestly about football and feelings and emotions and everything on the side. So um, thanks for following my journey. Thank you for you know watching the games, all supporting me. Um, please like, share, subscribe and let me know what content you want to see um, you know because I do want to work with other footballers etc and, and all that stuff so um, do let me know and we'll, we'll get something together thanks guys not a lot of you feel my pain three in the morning trying to sleep but I've got so much adrenaline in my body so difficult to sleep after games. It's so hard because your body needs a rest and it's just like, oh, just shut off.